Are you guys ready? Today we will start lay down on our backs. So take your time to get there. Knees bend. Knees above your heels. Feet parallel to each other. Hands by your side for bridge pose. Inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up. Doesn't need to be high, just lengthening through your lower back, taking your tailbone, tucking your tailbone toward your knees. Slowly lower your hips down. Two more times, lift your hips up. Engage your core and navel toward your spine. And release. Once more, do it slow. If it is not too early, engage your hips, hugging your inner thighs together, hips lifted, keep the core muscle engaged. Slowly lower your hips down. This time, left foot in front of you, right knee over your left knee, cross your knees. You might hang out here or draw your knees to the chest. Extend your arms up. Left arm on top of your right, eagle arms. Maybe bind one or twice. If it doesn't feel good, hands over your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, engage your core, chest up and lower. You can touch your left foot down if you wish. Again, lift knee to the chest, chest toward your thigh and down. Three more. Engage your core, not your neck muscles. One more. If it feels okay, stay there. Stay at the top three, two, and one. Release. Right foot down, hands by your hips. Another bridge pose. Inhale. No rush. Exhale, hips up. Belly engage, tailbone toward your knees. Stay for three, two. Open up through your chest. Make sure no tension in your neck. Stretch it through your thighs. One more breath, please. Take your hips down. The other side. Right foot in the middle. Left knee on top of your right knee. Hug your knees to the chest. Extend your arms up. Left arm on top. Eagle arms or hug your shoulders. Five rounds crunch. Inhale, exhale, knee to chest. Release and lift. Cultivate your strength. Draw everything in. Two more. Stay there. Three, chest up. Two. Knee to the chest, one, little smile, release, good. Under your legs and hands, another bridge, feet down, lift your hips up. You can stay or move up and down. Just noticing what's happening in your lower back. You might stay longer or you can release earlier. Do what your body is asking for. If you're still in your bridge pose, interlace your fingers, chest up, hug your shoulder blades together. One more full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Release, hips down, hugging both knees into the chest, little rock side to side. And 
gently draw your knees all the way to the left, left hand over your right knee. You might look toward your right shoulder. Stay for three breaths. Right shoulder relaxed. In your time, back to your center, knees to the right, right hand over your left thigh. Soften your face as you soften your breath. Let go of the control. In your time, back to your center, with a rock, back and forth. If you feel good, you can do more than five. If it feels too much for whatever reason, if you don't feel good, you can just come up to a seated. Engage your core muscles. Little massage for your lower back. Yes, you can lift your hips up and down. Take as many as you want to. Eventually, we will meet in a tabletop hands and knees. Welcome, Ivia. Cat and cow from here, hands underneath your shoulder, knees underneath your hips. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, belly in, round through your back. Breathe in, open up the chest, shoulders down out of your ears. Exhale, navel toward your spine, hollow it out. Be mindful. Noticing what's happening in your back. One more at your own pace. Back to neutral spine, knees together. Extend your right leg back, left hand forward, find some balance. If you wish, lift your right leg up in line with your hip. We won't stay that long. Breathe in, knee to elbow, exhale. Nice, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, knee to elbow, doesn't matter touch or not, just hugging in, three more. Engage your core muscles. As you are done, release. Left hand down, right knee down, switch it side. Right hand forward, left foot back. Lift your left foot if you can. Inhale. Knee to elbow, exhale. Good. Breathe in. Navel toward your spine. Breathe in, lengthen out, open up. Exhale, hugging in, drawing in. Two more. You can do it slower. Release. Open your knees apart, feet together. Extended child pose. If you are looking for any other pose, feel free to do that for reset. You can stick your hands under your forehead for extra support. Noticing what's happening in your body. Paying more attention to what's going on here in your body. In your time, back to your tabletop, hands and knees. First down dog today, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, feel about your hip this apart, heels can be up or down, knees can be bent or extended, feel free to explode. Spread your 10 fingers nice and wide, press into the knuckle of your hands, especially your index finger base. 
two more breaths. Ujjayi breath, little constriction through the back of throat. As you're ready, empty the air out, bend your knees, look forward, step or hop. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hinge at your hips. Two more, inhale, nice and long spine. Good, look slightly forward. Exhale, chest or thighs, relax your head and neck. Breathe in. One more, breathe out. Rise up to stand. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows by your ribs. Open up the chest. Inhale, extend your arms up. Chair pose. Bend your knees. Right hand forward, left hand back for twisted version. Good. Strong legs, strong arms. Inhale, extend your arms up if you can. Left hand forward, right hand back. Keep the arms nice and long. Two more, inhale back to your chair. Exhale, twist the left with open arms. So good, breathe in. Hips maybe a little bit lower. Exhale, open up. One more, in your own way. Strengthen your hips, core. Lots of space to your chest. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lower your head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float back to your plank. Shoulders over your wrist, belly engage. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, knee, chest, chin, or chaturanga, slowly lower on your belly. Inhale, lift your chest up for cobra. Take your shoulders down out of your ears. You might look up. Exhale, take your hips up for downward facing dog. Three breaths here. One. Relax your head and neck. Two. Draw your chest toward your thighs for deep stretch for your chest, shoulders. Maybe you can draw your heels down if it is not too early. Join your feet together. Right leg up, inhale, dog split. Feel the left hamstring. Exhale, knee to the chest. Two more times, inhale. Lots of core engagement. Exhale, knee to the chest. Good, breathe in, do what you can do. Knee to the chest, hold for three, two, nice Angela, one. Right foot steps forward, left heel down, warrior one. Adjust your hips. Right hip back, left hip forward, hips in level. Inhale, right knee bends, extending your arms up. Exhale, bend your elbows by your side. Two more, inhale, you can extend your front leg. Exhale, bend, keep the left heel down. One more, breathe in, breathe out. Hands together behind you. Inhale, your fingers, lift your chest up. Inhale, look up. Exhale, humble warrior, your chest over your thigh or a little bit inside of your right thigh, depends on how you feel. Stay for three, keep the right hip back. Two, relax your head and neck. One, press into the left outer heel. Come back to warrior one. Inhale, extend your arms up. Open to warrior two. Right knee bends, left heel slightly out. Hips lower, best you can. Adjust your body, head over your heart, heart over your hips. Open up your arms out. Make sure no tension in your neck. One breath here. Reverse, take your left hand down, right hand up and over. One breath, inhale. Keep the right arm nice and long, exhale. 
extend the right leg out, triangle pose, hinge from your hips, right hand down, left hand up. Right hand can be on your ankle or shin, left hand up over your shoulder. You can look forward or look up to the sky. Three. Take your right hip back, two. Scoop your belly in. One, reaching, reaching your left hand up. Bend your right knee, look down. Warrior two, come up. Inhale, exhale, windmill down for low lunge. One more sequence here. Left palm down, right hand up for twist. Open up. Keep the right shoulder away from the ear. Stage one here, stay. Stage two, you can draw your left knee down for extra support. Stage three, maybe, maybe not. Take your right foot to the middle of the right side, the edge of the right side. Stay for three, supported plank. Two, press into the left palm, wherever you are. One. Make your way to downward facing dog. Very good, take your time. Inhale to plank. Your vinyasa, knee, chest, chin, or chaturanga all the way down to your belly. So for now, your shoulders, your neck, cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Join your feet together. Let's start again, left leg up, inhale. Knee to the chest, exhale. Breathe in, lift, lift. Exhale, hugging in. One more. Look slightly forward, you can stay more. In your time, left foot forward, right heel down, warrior one. Adjust your hips, your legs, feet distance. Extend your arms up over your head. Front knee bend, keep the right outer foot down. Inhale, exhale, bend your elbows by your side. Two more, breathe in, reaching up. Breathe up, bending and opening. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades down your back. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, mindful back bend. Exhale, fold over your thigh or inside of your inner thigh. Whatever feels good. Design your practice. Make sure your right foot rooted down to your mat. One more breath. Release, come off for warrior one. Open to warrior two, adjust your feet again. Left knee bend over your ankle, take your time. Keep the arms nice and long, shoulders down out of your ears. One more breath. Yes, Gina, you can take your hips lower. Inhale, right hand down, left hand up and over. One breath here. Keep the left side body nice and long. Extend the left leg out, triangle pose. Keep the left side of body nice and straight. Left hand down, right hand up. Open up the chest, strong core, belly in. Lift from your pelvic floor, your banda. Your strength, inner power. One more breath, wherever you are. Looking down, left knee bend. Warrior two, inhale. Exhale, windmill your hands down, low lunge. Twist version, right hand down, left hand up. Keep the right knee hover or right knee down, depends on how your body feels. Another option to play, left foot back. The between, almost the middle of the side of mat. If you're looking for first side plank, go ahead. Three, belly in, two, 
Do a nice lift your hips one inch higher. One. Take it down, down dog or plank. Skip the plank, skip the down dog, child pose, up to you or vinyasa. Knee chest chin or chaturanga. Cobra, open up the chest, take your shoulders down. Exhale for down dog or any other pose to reset. Time to retune back into your body. Listening to the sound of breath. Let go of the control if you wish. Knees bend in your down dog. Stay or hop to the top. Half a lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Back your chair, bend your knees, sit lower, sit back, inhale, extend your arms up. Hands together in front of your heart, heels up, drinking bird. Press through the balls of feet, lift your heels up, hips down. Squeeze your inner thighs together, three, good, two, hanging there, one, Release, heels down, come up. Inhale, extend your arms up. One more mindful back bend. Bend your elbows by your side. Inhale, your fingers. Breathe in, open up. Exhale, feel free to bend your knees. Relax your chest, shoulders, and neck. One more breath. Of your hands, hands down, roll it out, slowly come up, head is the last to release. So good, beautiful. Find a long side of mat. <laughs> All right, take it easy, take it slow. We will do some squat, lunge, maybe one or two yoga poses too balance our body, strengthen our lower body and core. First, feet about your hip distance apart. Take your hips back, hands can be in front of you, extended arms or hands in front of you like a prayer. In the least, up to you. 10 squat. One, two, good. Press into your heels. Three, shoulders down. Four, keep the spine nice and long. Five, find your range of motion. Six, seven, eight, nice and long. Nine, ten, listen carefully. Take your right foot back. Excuse me, maybe you can use the long, not long side of man. The facing to the top of the mat, right foot back, lunge, one, hips lower, two, yes, hinge from your hips, three, four, take your left hip back in line with your right, five, six, seven, almost, Eight, squeeze your inner thighs. Nine, 10, switch, right foot forward, left foot back. Adjust your feet, your hips. Take your hips back, right hip back. One, two, press into your right heel. Three, your knees not over your toes. Four, good. Five, feel the stretch on your right hip. Six, breathe. Seven, eight, make sure you're not hunched. Keep the back nice and long. Nine, 10, left foot forward, back to your squat. We will do one squat, one lunge, reverse lunge, right, 
and left. Ready? Go. One squat. One. Right foot back. Lunge. Right foot forward. Squat. Left foot back. Reverse lunge. Good. Keep going. Squat. Right foot back. Lunge. Find some balance. Squat. Left foot back. Don't think too much. Just move. Feel the engagement in your hips, your quad, your back, your core. Keep the spine nice and straight. Yes, following with your breath. Gradually improve your, what is called, range of motion. Take your hips back and down. Two more each side. Little more hit, little more strength, little more power. Nice everyone. Finish with your left side and squat, hips back, extend your arms forward, up and down, 10, one, little purse, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, all right, extend your legs, bend your elbows by your side, hands behind you, Palms together, lift your chest up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, relax everything down. It rocks side to side. Nod your head, yes. You can always release your hands down if it feels better. One more breath. Take your hands down, slowly come up. Nice workout. Now we can use the long side of mat. Little side step, right foot out, left out. Think about cardio workout. Keep the pace of your pace of breath. Even we are moving fast. Yes, steady breath. Now extend your arms up, down, up and down. Good. Of course, you can jump if you want. Open up the chest. Five more. One, two, three. You can clap. Four, and five. Good. Open your feet wider. Wide squat. Heels in, toes out. Hands in front of you. Knees out, 10 rounds. One, two, three. Good, spine nice and tall. Four, five, press into your heels. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold here, right heel up, up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right heel down, left heel up. One, two, three, four, you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, 10. Both heels up, one, two, if it doesn't work, heels down. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Heels down, heels out. Toes in, fold forward. Great job. Inhale, find a flat back. Exhale, relax your head down again. Walk your hands to your left. You might move your toes slightly out. Chest over your thigh, relax your head. Two more breaths. 
Feel the deep stretch for your hamstring, the back side of your leg, your ankle, your calf. Back to center, walk your hands to your right, right toes slightly out. Inhale, exhale, go a little deeper if you wish. Notice what's happening in your right leg. Without forcing, just breathe into the space you're creating now. Back to center. Heels in, toes in, heel to heel to. Come up to your stand. Extend your arms up. Hands to in front of your heart. Feet together. Three pose. Right knee bends. Knee out. Option one, you can take your toes down. Come on your toes. Uh, come on your balls of foot. Ball of foot, excuse me. Or you can take your foot, your inner thigh. Full expression of tree pose. Another option, take your ankle on top of your left thigh, figure four stretch. If you're in the figure four stretch, move your hips back, feel a little deeper in your right outer hip. Find whatever feels good. Only three breaths. One, totally okay. Two, if you're shaking, this is all part of our practice. One. If you're in figure four, slowly come up. Take your right knee over your left knee, cross your knees, just like we did in a lay down position. Good, stage one, just move your hips, hinge from your hips, take your hips back, feel the stretch through your hips, outer hips. If you can, Lift your right foot up, stand with one leg. Good. If you can bind, go ahead, take your right top of foot over the left shin. I mean, left calf. If not, just stay or touch your right toes down. Extend your arms over your head or in front of you, eagle arms, left arm on top of your right. Bind or hands over your shoulders. Find your position that you can feel the strength in your legs, hips, and core. You can take your elbows away from the chest, a little stretch for your upper back. Two more breaths, squeezing your thighs. Focal point over in front of you. Slowly release. Let go of the control. Good job. Second side. Any option that feels good. Three pose. Support it. Three pose. Figure four. Whatever you choose, keep the hips open. Hinge from your hips if you're in figure four. Nice, three, two, one. Good job, slowly come up. Left knee over your right knee, cross your knees. You can keep the right toes down or lift. Hugging your inner thighs together. Your balance, focus, strength. Cultivate any strength in your body into the pose. Extend your arms up or in front of you. This time, right arm on top of your left. Hug your shoulders. Bind your arms. Elbows away from the chest. Hips a little bit lower if it feels okay. Three. Two. Just do what you can do. One. Slowly release. Good job. Wow. <laughs> Second side is a bit easier. Okay, release. Take your feet wider, as wide as you wish. Feet parallel to each other. 
hands on your hips, elbows back, open up the chest, inhale, exhale, hinge at your calves, you can stay in a halfway or all the way down, this time you can hold your ankles or you can release your hands down, feel a little bit deeper into your hips, your inner legs, relax your neck and shoulders. One more breath. Take your hands down, Skandinyasana. Lift toes slightly out. Bend your left knee, left knee directly. Tracks over your left toes and hips lower. Hands prayer in front of your heart. If not, just take your hands down for extra support, extra care. Good. Keep the left knee out. You can take your left elbow to your left inner thigh or knee. Notice what's going on in your legs, your hips, your adductors. Three breaths. One. Your hips can be lifted or a little bit lower. Two. Spine nice and long. One more breath. The other side, walk your hands to your right, right knee out, hands prayer or take your fingertips down. You are not hunched, top of head upward, hips down, chest opens. You might look forward or close down your eyes. Focus on what's happening in your body. Be nice, be kind to yourself. Beautiful, one more breath. Release, extend both legs out, feet parallel to each other again. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, make your way to the downward facing dog. Let it out. Good. Feet together. Right leg up high. Inhale. Right knee to the chest. Step forward. Listen. Take your left foot back first. Supported warrior three. Yes. Keep the left leg nice and long. Now you're gonna turn to the left side for half moon pose. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch me. Left hand up over your shoulder. Yes. Point your toes to the outside. Flex your toes. If it doesn't work, it's okay. Just two hands down. Relax your head. Nice stretch of your hamstring. But if you're open to the left side, you feel more in your inner thigh. Good. Keep the core muscle engaged. Stay for three. You can use the block if you have. Two. Open up through your heart. One. Nice, everyone. Release your left hand down if you haven't done. Take your left foot back for a low lunge. Right foot back to plank. Vinyasa, chest down. Elbows in. Cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog. Again, let's start again. Let go whatever happened before. Left leg up. Knee to the chest, step four. Right leg up. Supported warrior three. Keep both legs nice and long. Stage one, stay exactly where you are. Or point your right toes out, right hand over your shoulder. You might look down. As you feel you're ready to go further, Take a gaze to your right hand, open up the chest, open up your inner thigh. Try not to be perfect. You are just good as you are. Breathe exactly where you are. One more breath. Right hand down, right foot back for low lunge. 
vinyasa plank downward facing dog or you can take uh, skip the vinyasa inhale child pose or downward facing dog observe how your body feels now if there's any shift change in your body just observe it without any judgments time slowly come up to your tabletop we will do some hip opening sequence here tuck your toes under lift your hips up for down dog feet together right leg up inhale knee to your right elbow for pigeon pose right foot toward your left wrist you can take your right foot a little bit forward as long as you feel even in your hips extend the left leg out inhale open up the chest as you exhale walk your hands out in front of you you might stay upright or take your chance all the way down adjust your hips left hip down in line with your right hip good you can move shake or you can rest, surrender. Stay for one minute. Notice how your hips feel in this position. Imagine you're breathing through the space. If you're looking for any variation, go ahead. Left knee bends. Right hand or left hand reaches for your foot or ankle. You can always stay still in a mindful position. Stay for two more breaths. down lift your hips up take your right foot back for a down dog pedal it out switch your side left leg up breathe in knee to your left elbow take your shin forward and down hips down your hips can be lifted or down to your mat make sure two hips in level shoulders in level breathe in chest up if you need more time, hang out here. In your time, walk your hands out. Chest down, forehead down. Any other option? Find a way to soothe and relax your lower back. the sensation notice any thoughts welcome to everything no right and wrong in your practice one more breath Next inhale, lifts you up. Take your right foot forward. Janu Shilsasana directly. 
Think about three pulls, left foot to your right inner thigh, flex your right toes, pointing up. Inhale, extend your arms up, reach your fingertips up. As you exhale, twist the left. One breath, one movement. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Think about toe body. Exhale, twist the right. Inhale, extend it up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, chest forward, forward, until you feel this is your optimum. Hands down or hands on your foot or ankle. You might let down. Relax your head and neck. Feel free to bend your knees if it hurts your lower back. Two more breaths. Next inhale comes up. Switch to side, left leg out, right foot to your left inner thigh, adjust your hips. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, twist the right side, hug your belly in. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to the left. Breathe in. Fold over your leg. Relax your head and neck. Doesn't matter how deep you can get into this pose. A pose, a little break, beautiful space to let go. You might hang out a little bit longer as you feel you're heading out. Back to your center, extend both legs up, Pachimottanasana. You can shake your legs first. Keep the knees bent or extend totally up to you. Inhale, extend both arms forward and up. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Be mindful, be careful. Hands can be anywhere on your mat or on your legs. Hug your belly in, chest forward. Again, let your head and neck relax. Three breaths. Observe what's happening in your legs, your hips, your back, maybe somewhere else. Next inhale, come off for both poses. I know you love this pose. Hold your thighs, feet up. Two sits bone down to your mat, lengthen through your lower back. You're not here. Keep the body nice and straight, head up. You might stay here or extend your arms forward, shoulders down out of your ears. Option one, stay here. Option two, extend the legs out. Do whatever feels good. You can hold your legs anytime, anywhere. Just breathe. Keep the core muscle engaged. Three, two, trust your body. One more breath. Nice, Jenna. Slowly make your way to your back. Gentle move, knees to one side and the other side for windshield wipers. And draw your knees all the way to the left. Take your left ankle on top of your right thigh. You might look up or look toward your right armpit. 
Hands can be on your belly or over your head. If you want to go a bit deeper, take your right foot to the right outer edge of the mat. Observe how your right leg, outer hip feels now. Back to center, left foot down, drop your knees to right. Right ankle on top of your left thigh. Just as much as needed. One more full breath. Inhale. Exhale. If this pose feels so good, nobody can stop you. Stay more, relax more, stretch more. In your time, both feet down for one more bridge pose. Hands by your hips, heels underneath your knees, lift your hips up. Option one, stay here. Option two, hug your shoulder blades a little bit close to each other. Option three, heels up. Engage your glutes, your quads, core, everything, hips. But your neck should be relaxed. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two, one, inhale, lift, exhale, hips down, great job, knees into the chest, chest toward your thighs, little hug. If you're fully ready to take a Shavasana, go ahead. If you're looking for a little strength for your core muscles, Stay with me. Extend both legs out, feet together, hands over your head. Exhale, knee to chest, hugging in. Again, inhale, extend your legs and arms. Exhale, draw in. Three more, inhale. Exhale, feel the strength. Two, breathe in. Breathe out, a little bit closer, chest toward your thighs. Inhale, lengthen out, keep the lower back down. Shaking, shaking, exhale, hugging in. Inhale, extend, hold. Hands underneath your head for extra support or extend your arms over your head. Can you lift your chest one inch higher? Three, two, maybe heels one inch lower. Last breath, breathe in. Don't trust me, breathe out. Trust yourself, good. Knees to chest, knees to left for one more twist. Join your knees together. Hug your knees as much as you need to. Relax your head and neck. Back to center, knees to right, gaze to the left. Time to slow down. If heaven done, back to your center, Shavasana of your choice. You can extend your legs out, toes out. You can bend your knees out, feet together. Any other shape. 
letting go. Shoulders away from the ears. Making sure your neck is nice and soft. Draw your chin slightly into the chest to soften the back side of the neck. Let go of the control. Control of your body. Control of your breath. And control of your mind. can take a mini shavasana or long shavasana depends on how your body feels or what you're looking for now if you wish extend your arms over your head lengthen through the side of body move gently add any movement that feels good knees, the chest, roll onto your one side. In your time, no rush, press into your palm, come up to your seated. Or you can stay in your Shavasana. Respect how you feel now. If you notice any tension in your neck, move around. One more breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up over your head, palms touch, hands together in front of your heart. Gentle bow to yourself, thank yourself for showing up. Take care, see you soon, namaste.